So for the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how we can create a pop-up color picker for our triangle drawing and editing tool. So here you can see this is the triangle editing using Vector.io and Touch.io and CircuitPython. Uh, and you'll notice one little addition since last time is I've added a little white circle to the center of the triangle. Uh, and you can see that stays centered there uh, wherever I move the points. And the reason I added that is I just wanted to have something I could click that's obvious that is going to bring up a color picker so that I can change the color of the triangle. So I'm going to click on that little white circle there and you'll see I've got now these three sliders. And if I go and click and drag those, I can adjust the red component, the green component, and the blue component of my triangle. And then when I'm done with that, when I want to get rid of this little pop-up. I just have a little gray box here that I can click and that goes away. So how does all this work? Uh, this is in fact the same code we had previously as far as building the triangle por uh, portion of it and editing it. But then I have some additions. So if you look here in CircuitPython, uh, the first thing that I'm doing that's a little different is I'm adding a center circle. So this is another vector IO circle and that's the one that goes in the middle there, colored white. And then I am adding some new variables for keeping track of my sliders and drawing them. So I have uh, an X and a Y position to start with and a size to start with, and then I just build on those to do those three sliders. Uh, and those are uh, the uh, rectangle, uh, display shape rect rect, and then uses those values to draw those on the screen. And then I'm hiding those with the slider dot hidden, slider dot hidden, slider dot hidden, enter button, and the indicators, which are just these uh, little horizontal boxes on top that are gray, so we can see where we are on top of it. So all of that right there creates those sliders uh, and, and creates their indicators. Uh, and then I'm also creating a little, um, that little gray box. Then we have some functions here. This one updates the position of the center circle uh, by finding the centroid of the triangle. So averaging the three positions and finding the middle point. And that's how that little white dot stays centered there. Uh, and you can see it's pretty responsive. It moves, it moves uh, updates pretty quickly using vector IO for that stuff. And then in the function check for checking to see if we're touching a circle, now not only are we using that to decide when to uh, adjust the vertices of the triangle, but we're also using that to decide if we need to pop up the, uh, the UI for color picking. So all of this is the same here. We're, we're getting a touch point where what's the XY coordinate on screen that I'm touching. Uh, we're casting the X and Y and pressure to their own variables. And then we run that check. Are we touching one of the circles? And if it is the center circle, then we flip this state of, of show sliders to true. So I'm going to pop that on. You can see these pop up here. Uh, and then the uh, drag for these is if any of these values after we've popped that up of X, Y touch are inside of one of those rectangles, then we start updating those values. Uh, and those are then being turned into a 24-bit uh, color value by bitwise shifting the red all the way to the left, the green to the middle, and the blue stays on the right. So we end up with just that single value that we can change the color palette for the triangle. So right here, triangle pixel shader zero, and there you can see the red component, the green component, and the blue component all get turned into one value that gets sent over to that, and that's how it updates that color. Then when we're done, we can go ahead and click on X there, and it just sets these indicators to hidden again, hides all of that stuff. And that is it. You can repeat that as necessary. You can actually continue to adjust things if you want after you've brought that color picker on screen. It'll still, it'll still be accessible. But then if you want to get it out of the way, you can go ahead and get it out of the way. And so that is how you can create a color picker that pops up for use inside of Vector.io and Touch Display. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.